driving in Taiwan is very much organized chaos. Today I'm gonna let you cut me off and tomorrow you're gonna let me cut you off and we're gonna do all this with a smile. I've compiled a list of 10 other things that might ease your driving experience in Taiwan. At number 10, endorsing your international license. Unfortunately, Taiwan does not accept all international licenses. If you are not sure whether yours is accepted, please watch the view I did titled Is your driving license accepted in Taiwan? If you're planning to drive more than 30 days in Taiwan, you need to have your driver's license endorsed. To do so, take your driver's license along with an ARC and a picture to Bada Roads Motor and Vehicle Department where they will endorse your international license and you can drive legally in Taiwan. At number 9, annual smoke test and third party insurance, both compulsory by Taiwan law. This is a third party insurance card and this is your annual smoke test card. If your car is less than 10 years old, you have to get this smoke test done at least once a year. You can go to Bada Road and have both these things renewed on the same day because it's a bit of a hassle doing them separately. And number eight, boozing and driving. The legal driving limit in Taiwan is 0.05%, which I think is about one to two beers per person. However, if you have any kind of car trouble or accident, it has to be zero. At number seven, the basic layout of roads in Taipei. Most major roads run north to south, east to west, with the exception of Renai Road and Shinyi Road. Renai being a one-way west and Shinyi being a one-way east. Number six, no lefties. And by lefties, I mean left turning. Most major roads in Taipei City, you cannot turn left, like this one and the one coming up also. So when you're planning a trip, make sure that you do not need to take any left turns on any major roads. Number five, Hong Kong Hoot Hoot. Honking or hooting in Taipei or in Taiwan for that matter, is not allowed. You may honk in an emergency, but only for a fraction of a second. At number four, Your Highness the Bus. Buses in Taiwan are at the top of the food chain and boy do they know it. They even have their own lanes. If you look at the right side here, you'll see a lane with diamonds painted on the road. That means it's a bus or public transport lane. You are not allowed to drive in that lane. At number three, seat belts. Drivers as well as passengers on the front and back seats must wear seat belts in Taiwan. At number two, where one door opens, another one crashes. Unless this is your car or your car doors open like this, you need to be very careful when opening your car door in Taipei. A lot of accidents are caused when people open doors without looking and scooters or cars even crash into their car doors. And last but not least, getting gas. In Taiwan you do not have to pump your own gas. You do however have to know what type of gas your car takes. Most cars take 95 which is Joe. The petrol jock will also ask you how much you want to put in. You will say Jaman if you want to fill it up. Then he will probably ask you how you want to pay. You will say Xianjin if you want to pay cash and Suaka if you want to pay by card. To make your life easier, you might want to learn these phrases all together and when you pull in, just say it all together. Zhou Wu, Jia Man, Xian Jin. He might go on to ask you whether you want to use a tax number or whether you would like a free gift for filling up at this gas station. At this point, you just have to wing it.